But photons can do another crucial thing. They can make molecules vibrate. If a photon's wavelength and energy match the vibrational modes of the molecules in a liquid, for example, since liquid molecules have more freedom of movement, the photon's energy is converted into vibration and ultimately heat. If the wavelength is a bad match, the photon simply passes right through the molecules. In solids, molecules are packed so tightly that it takes much more energy to make them vibrate. That's why the wavelengths best suited to excite water molecules are useless against dense solids. A familiar example, in a microwave, the water in your food gets hot, but a dry ceramic cup or a rock barely warms up at all. Why? Because the microwave waves are vibrationally compatible with water molecules, but not with dense solids. Enjoyed it? Tap the link down below to watch the full video on the Icarus channel.